Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to take a look at Best Blender Add-ons, released in October, that will take your 3D projects to the next level. Before we dive in, let's talk about Blender Kit first, because if you are looking for complete realistic scenes or assets that you want to use for your VFX shots or simulations, then take a look at Blender Kit. They are offering over 30% off on Pro Yearly Plan. So if you use my link, which is in the description, you will get additional 10% discount on Pro, which will give you access to over 106,000 Blender Assets collection of high-quality 3D models, materials, textures, and brushes from creators worldwide. You can choose between the free and full plans, both packed with valuable resources. This add-on supports customizable tags and advanced filters, helping you quickly find what you need. Plus, you can explore different collections handpicked by experienced creators or even sell your own assets within the community. Offer is ending very soon, so get before it ends. First add-on on the list is Particles FX by Motion Dreams. Make sure to check his other amazing add-ons, such as Lightning FXS, Hologram FXS, and more. It gives you a powerful, flexible way to design particle-based visual effects through a layered, non-destructive workflow. Whether you want to build your own simulations from scratch or quickly get started with presets and templates, Particles FX's makes creating stunning particle effects easier than ever. Layered Workflow allows you to build effects by combining three core modifiers, emitters, simulators, and renderers, plus optional trails for added motion detail. You can choose from multiple emitter types. Quickly set up particle behavior with 10 simulation types, flexible render options, and a lot more features. Everything integrates with Blender's Asset Browser, making it easy to drag, tweak, and remix different effects on the fly. Next is BlendSync. With BlendSync, you can export any number of static meshes to and from Unreal Engine and Substance Painter with materials and textures automatically set up. Just click Export to UE5, and your meshes and materials are sent to Unreal. Press Import Assets to bring them to Unreal Engine 5. All assets land in correct folders. No need to move them around after importing to Unreal Engine. And works the same with Substance Painter. Moving on, we have ABO Connect. This add-on is not another model pack. It's a lightweight and efficient bridge that connects your Blender viewport directly to the entire ABO database. Instant access to 8,000 plus free assets. It makes browsing and importing from this massive library as simple and intuitive as a local asset browser without the colossal storage footprint. Next on the list is RetopoFlow. RetopoFlow 4 has officially launched, leaving its beta phase behind. This version is a full rewrite and easily one of the biggest improvements to Blender's read apology workflow we've seen in a while. The developers have reworked the entire system, so it's now integrated directly into Blender's edit mode, meaning it runs smoother, faster, and doesn't interrupt your flow. If you've never tried it before, RetopoFlow basically lets you draw clean topology over a high-poly sculpt, as if you were sketching on top of it. It's intuitive, fast, and honestly makes Retopology feel enjoyable. Version 4 comes with amazing tools, like PolyPen for vertex-by-vertex -vertex precision, poly strips for quickly defining loops, and strokes for sketching out quad patches. There's also contours, perfect for wrapping clean topology around cylindrical shapes like arms or legs. And with the new sculpt style brushes like Tweak and Relax, you can make quick adjustments to your mesh while it stays perfectly snapped to your high poly surface. All in all, this update feels smoother and more responsive than ever. Read Apology has never been this fluid inside Blender. However, if you work with only characters, then the best tool for read apology is OK Topo Remesher. This tool is basically a dream come true. Instead of manually working through every little detail, you just place some markers on the face and the tool automatically generates clean, optimized topology. It gives you full control over polygon counts and alignment while cutting out hours of tedious manual work. UVs are auto-generated too, so you don't have to worry about unwrapping. Right now, this is focused on heads and faces, but a full-body version is planned for the future, which is exciting to think about. Whether you're doing retopo on a photogrammetry scan or a sculpted character, this add-on makes the process quick, clean, and efficient. Next up, we have Jiggle Maker. It's made for artists and animators who want natural, 
believable jiggle physics without babysitting a dozen modifiers. You know the moves, duplicate meshes, pin groups, cloth settings, surface to form, baking, then one tiny mistake and boom, exploding meshes. Jiggle Maker is built to end that cycle. It turns a fiddly, error-prone hour into a reliable, repeatable three-step workflow you can apply to any character. Further, we have Easy Camera Tracker, a tool that makes camera tracking ridiculously simple. Instead of manually placing markers and solving motion yourself, this add-on automates the entire process. Just import your footage and it handles everything, converting video to frames, tracking, solving, and even setting up your Blender scene afterward. Once the tracking is done, you'll have an animated camera perfectly matched to your footage, a point cloud of tracked features, the video set as a camera background, and even a reference floor with the video projected onto it. It's fast, efficient, and great for motion tracking beginners. There are also advanced options for manual fine-tuning, lens distortion correction, zoom lens handling, and other pro features. Just remember, your footage still needs to have enough parallax and visible features to track properly. It's not magic, but when used right, this tool can save you hours of work. Up next, we have Anim Easy Pro. It's an add-on for Blender that gives 3D animators the most powerful tools to speed up animation. Animation Library, Ghosts, Onion Skinning, One-Click IKFK Switcher, Selection Buttons, and tons of graph features, such as Real-Time Motion Paths, C-Spacing, and Arcs Update Instantly as you animate for real-time visual feedback. Mirror Animations, Copy, Flip, and Paste Animations, making it easy to reuse animations across different parts of your character. Advanced Breakdowner, creates breakdown poses in seconds, enabling quick pose creation and fast spacing adjustments. Clean up tools, delete static channels, remove redundant keys, and clean baked animations fast. Timing tools, see timing, nudge, snap, add in-betweens, and set in-betweens with precision to refine your timing. And a lot more features. So if you are an animator and looking for tools to make animations faster, then this is something for you. Next, we have Simply Shatter, which takes all the hassle out of creating realistic fracture effects. You can use it to break objects like glass, concrete, or walls, and it gives you a lot of control over how those breaks look. You can choose between low-poly chunked fractures or high-detail shards, adjust how many pieces you want, control randomness, and fine-tune normals and keyframes. There are six built-in fracture presets you can start from, and you can mix between them to get unique results. Once you've got your fracture set up, the add-on lets you simulate physics easily, previewing how the pieces fall, collide, or even stick together for a more stylized effect. It even includes a few bonus tools like custom glass materials and a dirt map system for adding fine cracks and grime around edges. If you love destruction effects or cinematic break scenes, Simply Shatter is an awesome time saver. Next is... We have Scatterflow, a super fun and effective tool for generating real-time object simulations. The concept is simple. Drop a spawn emitter, choose a collection of objects, and press play. The system simulates the dropping and bouncing of objects with live collision physics. You can randomize the scale, rotation, spawn frequency, or let it go wild for infinite chaos. What makes it even cooler is the iteration mode, where you can grab and move objects mid-simulation interactively tweaking how things settle or bounce around. And yes, it supports cloth dynamics too, so you can throw in some fabrics and see how they behave. It's incredibly fun and also great for concept shots or creative experimentation. The latest 2.0 version takes things even further with a new decal scatter feature, letting you scatter decals like graffiti, cracks, or leaves across surfaces. It also includes tons of new built-in assets from foliage models to decal textures, so you can start dressing up your scenes right out of the box. If you're into environment creation, this update is definitely worth checking out. Further, we've got Surface Flow, an incredibly smart add-on that makes wrapping one mesh perfectly onto another surface quick and accurate. Think of it as a next-level shrink wrap modifier, but faster, cleaner, and way more natural in how it handles deformations. Instead of just projecting one object over another, Surface Flow makes your mesh truly conform to the target, even on complex curved surfaces. Setup is dead simple too. Select your target, add the Surface Flow modifier, 
and you'll instantly see your mesh snap and wrap perfectly in real time. You'll also get live feedback as you tweak offset, masking, and quality, even on dense models. It's great for applying decals, placing labels on bottles, fitting clothing or armor, or adding surface details that need to hug the base object precisely. Whether you're doing product visualization or character work, this add-on makes that whole process effortless. Next up, we've got a major update for Colorist Pro, the add-on that turns Blender's viewport into a professional color grading suite. It already came loaded with LUTs inspired by Hollywood color palettes, but now it's even more powerful. The latest update introduces color wheels for shadows, midtones, and highlights, plus a full RGB curves editor for fine-tuning contrast and color balance. There's also a vibrant slider that boosts only muted tones without oversaturating bright areas, and a ton of new controls, exposure, white slash black levels, shadows, highlights, and white balance sliders for temperature and tint. They even added selective color grading, letting you isolate and adjust specific hues like reds or blues in your scene. And on the technical side, it now integrates ACE's color management, so your grading matches industry standard color workflows. This is easily one of the most robust color tools inside Blender right now. Perfect for anyone serious about look development or final compositing. That's it for best October add-ons. Now, we are going to take a look at top underrated add-ons. So, we have GoBoss Master. Rendering realistic shadows in large scenes can be a computational nightmare, especially when adding objects like trees and windows just for their shadows. When dealing with 500 to 1,000 frames of animation, this can waste a significant amount of processing power. That's where Go Boss Master comes in. By eliminating unnecessary geometry, it optimizes efficiency and dramatically reduces render times. It's a comprehensive library covering 13 categories of over 193 high-quality Go Boss to create ultra-realistic shadows in your scenes. And the best part, you can easily add Go Boss with the Go Boss Master add-on panel, and all the mapping controls are there for easier access. Right now, it's over 40% off, so if you're looking to add realism to your work, Go Boss Master is a perfect choice. On the visual effects side, the real-time aura effects pack gives you 14 drag-and-drop aura effects, from glowing energy fields and magical flames to swirling smoke and crackling electricity. The pack uses 8K flipbook textures for high-detail visuals and is designed for EV, meaning you can see results instantly in the viewport. Each effect is customizable, letting you change colors, mix textures, and layer elements for unique results. Next, we have Cloud Heaven, the ultimate cloud FX toolkit. It includes 600-plus high-resolution VDB clouds with a smart FX add-on for procedural lightning, tornadoes, and procedural clouds with one-click VDB export. Power your scenes in seconds. Generate, customize, and export stunning procedural effects for your Blender projects. Or if you are looking for beautiful, stylized clouds for Blender, then take a look at Rise Stylized Cloud Generator for all of you. Designed mainly with NPR slash stylized renders in mind, this tool lets you craft stunning skies effortlessly. It simplifies the process from idea to render, allowing you to bring a variety of artistic styles, such as anime, painterly, semi-realistic, to life faster than ever. Want to create terrains quickly in Blender? Take a look at Easy Terrain Generator. You can create any kind of terrain easily in no time with this Geometry Nodes Terrain Generator. It uses complex noises arrangements and customizable shaders to quickly set up realistic environments. You can choose between six terrain types and tweak them as you need by changing seed, height, details, and plenty of other handy parameters. Choose your base shader and make it unique. Add sand or snow, change the maximum slope on which it appears, and much more. Add realistic and customizable water. Change its level, color, or volumetric density. Add lakes and control seed, expansion, depth, and as well as, you can activate tree and grass scattering to add life to your scene. Control the scale, density, maximum slope or altitude, and more. Further, we have Houseify. It is a geometry nodes-based tool that generates buildings based on your meshes with the ability to edit them in real time. It currently features 30 unique building modules and angled roof types, giving you the tools to create detailed and atmospheric buildings. 
You can construct houses. Whether you're building luxury houses, cozy cottages, hunting lodges, old building, constructive buildings, or entire villages, Houseify gives you the flexibility and creative freedom to bring your architectural visions to life. Add ivy and tree, flower and pots to your scene to create a natural and cozy feel. You can set up a random distribution, density, and height. This is a great tool for anyone who is looking to create beautiful houses fast and easily in Blender. After installing a lot of add-ons, your end panel will become cluttered. To fix that, we have the end panel manager helps organize the end panel, which can quickly become cluttered, especially if you've installed many add-ons. This tool lets you create custom tabs, assign add-ons to them, and collapse or hide sections you don't use frequently. After installation, you can start creating tabs right away, naming them based on your workflow, for example. Grouping modeling tools under one tab and rendering tools under another. This makes it faster to locate the tools you need without scrolling through a long list. You can also exclude certain add-ons from being managed if you rarely use them but don't want to uninstall them. Additionally, the add-on includes update management, allowing you to check for and download the latest versions of your add-ons directly from the panel. For anyone working on diverse projects or frequently switching between workflows, the End Panel Manager is a great way to customize and optimize Blender's interface. So yeah, lots of exciting new and useful tools right now. Be sure to check out the links in the description if any of these caught your interest, and let me know in the comments which one stood out to you the most. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more Blender content. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.